it must be stepping into something new. If you recycle, that means uh, you become a stagnant life. Once you stagnate, you will stink. This is why most people, when they were children, they were like this. <laughs> Nothing wrong with their lives. Everything is fine, I can see they have eaten well. But because technician, nothing is happening new. You must understand, doing the same things over is never going to fulfill this. Today is Dhanya Pavnami. That means a full moon of fulfillment. Fulfillment will happen to you not because you reach some peak and there's no other place to go. Fulfillment will happen to you because you're constantly stepping into new territory all the time. The word fulfillment should not be misunderstood. Maybe in English language, it is uh, evoking a wrong connotation. Dhanya means full or fulfillment, there is no other word. Dhanya means that doesn't mean you've hit the ceiling and that's where you are. It simply means you have become borderless, you have become boundless. You're constantly evolving. Because of this, you're fulfilled. Not because you reached a certain size and you stopped there. But when it comes to consciousness, it's not a recycle. It is a constant exploration, constantly stepping into new terrain on a daily basis. Moment to moment, you must be stepping into new terrain, then you're fulfilled. One day will come, even if you open your eyes, your body is here, mind is there, you are away from this. Once you create a distance between you and your body, between you and your mind, this is the end of suffering. Once there is no fear of suffering, only when there is no fear of suffering, will you walk full stride in your life. You will explore consciousness. Otherwise, consciousness is a scary bloody thing. Who wants to fall into an abyss which has no bottom? Yes, that's what consciousness is, a boundless space. <laughs> if you jump into a well which has a bottom, you will go and smash yourself. If you jump into a well which has no bottom, there's really no danger, isn't it? But that is the scariest thing. So, consciousness is not to be feared means you should have no fear of suffering, first of all. That will only happen when there is a little space between you and your body, bit a little space between you and your mind, because these are the only two points of suffering that you know, physical suffering and mental suffering. You do not know any other form of suffering in your life, physical and mental suffering. Once there is a little distance between you and your physiological process, between you and your psychological process, this is the end of suffering. Only when this happens, you will dare to step into boundless nature of existence. Otherwise, you always invest in boundaries. You always invest in bondage, not in freedom. You will always move or strive to stay in untruth, not strive for truth. So, if you really want to move, it's time you invest yourself. If not anything else, at least something as simple as inner engineering. That some fundamentals you sort it out in your mind and bring a practice into your life which gives you a distinction between what is you and what is not you. And that is where your spiritual process begins, not by entertaining yourself with talks and jokes and works. I'll stop telling jokes. No, that was a joke. <laughs>